What's up guys, welcome to a new tutorial in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4. Today we're going to take a look at uh, making a nice template or I don't know, color, uh, making a good uh, color preset for uh, this landscape photo. This is not particularly um, a normal landscape, there's a lot of buildings. This is actually a place where, where they sell a lot of flowers. flowers and there's a parking lot but I really like the sky and uh, yeah the brightness the sun is coming out from the right here and um, this is not the we're going to make something similar to this um, not quite exactly like this but something uh, in the middle <laughs> so yeah we are going to try first of all I can just talk about these. When these are highlighted, it's like a warning to say that it's overexposed, it's all white. And sorry if my uh, voice is really strange today, but uh, I think I'm getting the cold right now, so it's like, <laughs> like I can't talk really good. Um, there's nothing underexposed too much, but uh, we are definitely going, going to have to do something about the overexposure. Uh, first of all, crop the picture the way you want it, level it out, or yeah, do the things that you want to do. And uh, there's a lot of things that can be done to make the picture nicer. I don't want this metal bar. Um, just level it a bit. Uh, I don't know if this is the best, but um, yeah, I think it's good. Uh, maybe I'll change it a bit later. Go over to white balance. I usually do auto. Um, it's always it makes a good color. It does it very good, and you can always change around just a lit, bit, little bit. Sorry, my English is really out today. Um, bit too much. Yeah, something like this. Um, turn down the exposure because the picture is really overexposed and it's still but we're going to change that up and don't worry if it's getting kind of dark because we're just going to go over to the shadows and turn it up contrast, increase contrast um, 25 maybe, yeah it always makes a good color highlights um, something that's kind of smart to do just drag it all the way up and all the way down and see the difference. It kind of make uh, give you an idea of what each tab does. So highlight, I would turn that down because of the over overexposure in the picture. So you can see right now the blacks is kind of high, but we're going to change that. Increase the shadow. Um, it's still making like this, and it's really up and down. Um, this picture, that's something you just have to live with. Uh, not that much. Something like this. Turn off the white by 10. Black by 5. And you're not going to use the exact same numbers as me. Um, this is just for tutorial purpose. And uh, yeah, every picture have, has their own values. So uh, this is not... Uh, yeah, just play around, try to find out your own way that's what I have to do of course I watch tutorials in the beginning and, uh, and then I started to find out some uh, yeah, make my own values and uh, yeah, make, make my own uh, presets and it's kind of fun when you get, you get started so the clarity is really important um, you can see how it changes um, I usually do something like uh, from 15 to 30, uh, maybe 30 it's kind of high, uh, 21, uh, the vibration, like it bring, brings out the color really nice. I wouldn't do it too high though, 10 maybe, uh, saturation, also make the color. So um, I usually take this down, but not much, it's like it compensates for the vibrance and the clarity. So that's good. Uh, 
<laughs> go down to Tonker. I usually kick down the lights. Kick down the dark. No. Wait. Kick off the dark bits. Down with the lights and the shadows for this picture I would increase it but don't make it too much and the highlights it's really up to yourself um, just take the, sh the sky and for me I would increase it not much and remember this is uh, all up to your own uh, I don't going to touch this one uh, I can go over it in another tutorial and uh, we're just going to go down to split toning this makes a lot of changes so if you take like 15 you can see the color like the mainly the color overall in the picture is changing um, like I learned in all the other tutorials I really like doing the red ones red and yellow and uh, blue that's my favorite and to compensate for the red color I, you can go over to blue uh, yeah I think that's good increase by 10 Oh, okay. it's a bit much. There you see it. It really makes a nice color to the whole image. You can also go over to some, some of the other colors. Uh, increase the yellow. Yeah, I think that one looks nice. So yeah. Um, go down detail. This is really the sharpening of the image. Um, it depends. If you're shooting raw, you always have to do this sharpening. Not too much, but uh, the detail. It's kind of important. Uh, JPEG, it's it's make the sharpening by its own, and I can go over JPEG and RAW in another tutorial if you want me to. Uh, it's really fine as it is. You don't have to. It's this image is really sharp from the beginning. I didn't use like a yeah f 3.5, but it's, it's not that wide. Uh, it's 18 millimeter and ISO 100, so yeah, I think it's quite good image. So um, you don't have to do too much about it. Maybe kick out, you know, just by one. It doesn't make it that much of a change. But uh, play around with it. Uh, the picture doesn't have any noise actually. And uh, yeah, you can use this to play around and uh, to use noise reduction. That's for another tutorial again. Uh, go down to lens correction, enable profile correction. So if you're using Canon, and find the lens you're using. For this photo I actually used the kit lens. It's not that rubbish. Uh, may, many people say that the kit lens is like yeah the build quality is uh, it's really shit but uh, I don't know I think the pictures are quite good and uh, don't be ashamed or anything embarrassed if, you, if you're taking photos with the kit lens. Not everybody have uh, that much money for a uh, high expense high equipment like a lenses from Canon I really want to buy it but uh, it's kinda expensive for me so when you've done all this and go over to, to this one it's kinda make a filter for the whole place and something is wrong here uh, I don't know so just make this yeah, over the sky and you can play around with it, increase the clarity, I would definitely, the saturation, uh, exposure, kick up the contrast, and I would kick down the highlights, and I would, oh shit, <laughs> uh, like, just hang on. I would do something like this. Uh, you can see the mountain is kinda in the way for this. And there's other. No, <laughs> there's another way to do it. And uh, that's. Oh, just hang on. Um, you can use this brush. And you can. Uh, okay, that's too high. Increase the size. Um, you can, there's a lot to play around with and I'm sorry if this tutorial isn't that good I'm not used to making it and I will try to get better it's just this is just my first tutorial in really how to make but you can just brush around like this just kinda highlight the points that you want to highlight in this way kinda makes everything a lot nicer and crisper 
and it's like you don't have to get all over the picture and yeah the sky looks really cool um, the only problem is kinda too much uh, if you th look at the foreground so if you go to the graduation filter just delete that one and go back to the brush maybe kick down the exposure take the highlights a bit down shadows and clarity saturation a bit too high and yeah I think it looks really good not exactly like the or original original sorry if my English is <laughs> really off and yeah it's not like the original but um, it's something on I really like this one a lot better maybe I don't, I'm not sure um, yeah if you like this tutorial please leave a comment and a like uh, subscribe to my channel this is all new I'm going to focus on doing this photo photography and tutorials in uh, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4 maybe I will go over to Photoshop and maybe some tutorials in After Effects um, I'm just going to do English commentaries there's not going to be anything original on, on this channel and please tell me if you like the channel going to step up my game uh, I'm back been out I haven't been on YouTube in like two to three months so uh, yeah going to make this work hope you liked it and leave a comment like subscribe see ya